हरि ओम एंड वेलकम टू ऑल द डिवाइन आत्मा ज्योतिष टू टुडे इज ए वी एस सी सत्संग लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर कॉन्टेम्पलेशन बेस्ड ऑन द अपरोक्ष अनुभूति टॉक्स बाय श्री प्रभु जी राइट नाउ वी आर ऑन डे फोर टॉक एंड वी टुडे लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन सो अपरोक्ष अनुभूति इज अबाउट डायरेक्ट इनर एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ योर ओन डिवाइन सेल्फ So now the question number ten is about what is superimposition due to avidya. In our last session, we contemplated on what is avidya and what is the outcome of the avidya. All that we uh, looked at in our last session. Today, the first question is superimposition due to avidya, and what are the kinds of superimposition due to avidya? So let's begin with this. Who would like to start? Shubhaji, you did not make coffee today morning. I did, sir. So already had, is it? Yes. Okay. okay. I don't miss my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so you you are all shot up. <sighs> it looks like the others are still looking for the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to begin, Shubhaji? Yes, sir. Yeah. <clears throat> so. What is superimposition uh, imposition due to avidya? What are kinds of superimposition due to avidya? Okay, so this was the question I had doubts. So the same question you have asked me to start with. So let me try. <laughs> Then we are going to so, have a very good session. <laughs> no i had lot of confusion in this question uh, okay. because uh, uh, i i didn't know exactly what superimposition on uh, due to avidya means okay. even uh, though i know avidya mm. so that that is the thing i had even uh, i was waiting in the last session also to okay. but we stopped with the ninth question okay uh, some of the things i uh, kinds of avidya i, uh, I uh, could understand is the um, um misconception of uh, snake in a rope and uh, we consider uh, the rope as the truth and uh, uh, that is what i understood if i am right i would like to continue sir is that the understanding of super huh superimposition is uh, seeing a snake in a rope yeah yeah that is correct right huh so uh, so assuming that the snake is uh, real yes so yeah. if that understanding is right then i okay i will continue yeah. yeah okay so we always think uh what is not right as the right thing so that is what causes avidya it is not uh, uh, so for example man in the lamp post we uh, uh, we always even uh, in my childhood i would always look at the in the night i would look out of the window and see that uh, somebody is uh, so if even if, uh, during the if some uh, the trees would uh, uh, um, um, what to say uh, make you feel scared yeah yeah exactly so mm-hmm. i would think that some ghost is there so i would uh, say that is something like superimposition because of the avidya there is nothing there but still mm-hmm. we have that uh, we think that some ghost is there mm-hmm. so these are all the uh, attributes uh, uh, of the body which is which is getting superimposed on our self mm. uh, uh, this superimposition is uh, because of uh, our identification with the body senses and mind mm. and we don't realize that atman is the only thing and that is our pure self mm. so this is what i understood sir okay Uh, as far as the kinds of superimposition, 
I would like to get uh, more clarity yeah, on yeah, that. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Shubhaji. Now that some coffee is coming to all of us, uh, who would like to take next? Ah, Ashwini ji. Wonderful. Yes. You also so, make it for a day with coffee, Ashwini ji? Uh, no, Vijay ji. No coffee. No coffee. <laughs> no coffee but just like that, you are always high. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So, so according to Guruji's talk, uh, like Shubhaji mentioned, it's the mind and uh, organs which are uh, superimposing. So the movement of the body is superimposed on the Atma. So, and he also mentions uh, that uh, thoughts create time and uh, time is also superimposed on Atma. And uh, what are the kinds of uh, superimposition due to Avidya? Uh, example is like a person with jaundice. A person with uh, uh, avidya, like a person with jaundice, is yellow everywhere. Similarly, a person with uh, avidya experiences uh, the self as the body. And also another example, sim similar example, a uh, person with uh, defective vision uh, perceives everything uh, defectively. So uh, similarly, a person with uh, spiritual ignorance person uh, perceives everything uh, defectively. So this is. Um, this is what uh, Guruji discusses. Uh, yeah, what like Shubhaji said, uh, uh, because of our bo body mind, uh, our uh, uh, we we think that we are the body and mind, and because of the mind and the sense organs, we we see everything in a defective way to avoid it. And, and the kinds of super superimposition you gave examples of uh, jaundice person with jaundice. Oh, that is what you are calling as the kinds of superimposition. Yeah. Different different ways in which it uh, uh, that avidya manifests. Hmm. Is there hmm. a difference in the example of person with jaundice versus a snake in the rope? Uh, snake in the rope also it's because it's because you it's the thought right it's you see person with jaundice is a physical thing. Snake in the rope is a mental uh, perception. You think there is a snow. Is, okay, of course, you you are able. It's dark. You're not able to see the rope properly. So you you have a concept of a snake, a picture of a snow, snake in your mind previously. So because of that, when you see the rope in that particular shape, and because of the it's both the both you see it. Because the darkness, it looks that way. Also, you have a concept in your mind that this may be a snake. So, both of them play tricks and you think it is a snake. And yeah, once the light is... Versus the jaundice example, what is the difference? Jaundice is uh, only the physical, no? Uh, you, uh, you see everything as yellow. Uh, so, you think the world is yellow. Uh, Everything is yellow. Once you remove the specks, or let's say you're wearing a red specks, uh, or some colored specks, spectacles on. So you think everything is that color. Once you remove that uh, thing, but yeah, but actually the example, uh, though it's like this, it's the same thing that you are seeing things in a way which it is not. Only by uh, removing that avidya, the spectacles or uh, this one, you will come to know it is not the way you had seen it or perceived it to be. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Ashwiniji. Deepaji, would you like to share your view? Is actually super Deepaji, uh, you're not clearly audible if you're speaking. Can you come closer to the mic? Yes, sir. Am I audible now? Much better. Soul is superimposed as the body, mind, intellect. So, um, that is a superimposition due to avidya. 
Okay, can we, can we examine that sentence once again? You are saying uh, Atman is superimposed on uh, body mind. Is that what I am hearing? Oh, no. Atman is superimposed as body mind. Superimposed as. Okay, so then what is superimposed on what? Just a minute, sir. Yeah. Hari Om, sir. Uh, this is Rupa. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, you are audible very clearly. Sir, body is superimposed as sir. Sorry, soul is superimposed as body, mind, and intellect. Uh, we take soul to be body, mind, and intellect. And that is the ignorance. Uh, that is because of the ignorance. Correct. Uh, however, the question is um, Haryom Rupaji didn't know that you know you're also with Dadipaji. <laughs> so um, you are in Dipaji's town or Dipaji is in your town? Deepaji has come to my place, sir. Who is superimposed as sir? However, I don't think they, they feel it is an imposition. So, yeah. still, just, to, just to illustrate the point, so Deepaji is superimposed on Rupaji's house, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Rupaji, the question is, uh, what is superimposition, first of all, uh, according to your viewpoint? Taking something to be something else. Taking something to be something else. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. like, like the classical example that we see here with the rope and the snake. Huh. The rope is uh, taken as the snake. So in that example, what is superimposed on what? Is the rope superimposed on snake or is the snake superimposed on rope? Snake is superimposed uh, on rope. Excellent. Snake is superimposed on the rope, correct? Yeah. Ah. Now similarly in the case of Atman, what is superimposed on what? So here, you know, we're talking about the Atman body and the world, right? So what is superimposed yeah. on what? We are taking the body, body as uh, the, the soul as uh, the physical appearance, that is body. And our thoughts, uh, the mind, the, uh, and uh, the soul as our mind. Yeah. Yeah, so what is superimposed on what? Our uh, real uh, self is being superimposed as the uh, uh, body, mind, and intellect. So just, just once again examine what you're saying. See, in the case of rope and snake, you said snake is superimposed on the rope. Between, between the rope and the snake, in that example, which one is the reality? Which one indicates the reality in the rope and the snake example? Rope is the reality. Okay. So you, your sentence is snake is superimposed on the rope, correct? Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, now, similarly now, in the case of Atman and the uh, body and the world, which is uh, reality? Atman is reality. So what is superimposed on what? Atman is superimposed on body and, uh, and world. Just look at the example analogy you are only giving. 
See, in the case of rope and snake, the unreality is superimposed on the reality. That is what you are saying, correct? Snake is superimposed on the rope. Rope is the reality. Rope is indicative of the reality. Similarly, Atman is a equivalent in the in this case. Rope is equivalent of the Atman. Snake is superimposed on the rope. So then uh, here, why are we reversing or why are you reversing? No, no, sir. I used that uh, deposition wrongly there. Okay. So what is superimposed on what in this uh, uh, case? Yeah, the body is superimposed on uh, Atman, or on the soul. Yeah. So body and the mind are superimposed on the Atman. Yeah. Huh. Now, what, what, what does it mean? What does the superimposition uh, due to Avidya mean? That is what the question is. Uh, we, here we are taking body as the, uh, the real self or the mind as the real self. Yeah. But, uh, we, we, this is because of uh, ignorance. And because of this ignorance, our, uh, uh, all this suffering is there. Once, once a person realizes his future, this ignorance, ignorance will be gone. So there won't be any uh, superimposition then. Can you say that last sentence again? Once the person... Yeah, there won't be any ignorance. No, before that, what is the sentence before that? Once the person... Uh, realizes his true self. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, please continue. Uh, do you have any viewpoint on the second question? What are the kinds of superimposition? Mm. I have actually not gone through the video, but uh, shall I try this question? Okay, so you want to listen to others? Um, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. All right. So is, uh, is this the collective answer of Rupaji Deepaji or uh, is Deepaji having something else to say? Uh, No, sir. Uh, it's a collective answer. Okay. All right. But we cannot apply this uh, uh, superimposition analogy to Rupaji Deepaji. Then, you know, we will have to negate one of them as unreal. And because, you know, Deepaji has come to Rupaji's place, uh, it won't be proper to say that the Deepaji is unreal and then Rupaji is the reality. Correct, no, Deepaji? Yes, sir. We are the rock copies. <laughs> what a copy. <laughs> so in copy also, there is one original one copy. <laughs> so you have to say no. <laughs> but the copy starts looking like the original. <laughs> and imp uh, unless you, you split your hair, you, you won't be able to know which is real. Very nice. Thank you, Rupaji Deepaji. Okay, we'll go next to Padmaji. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. It was actually fu funny when I saw this video in many ways. Uh, because uh, I, I was thinking only about the snake and the rope is the only thing I knew. Uh, one one sided is what I always thought. 
was how it is. So uh, I think that that clarity came in this video. <clears throat> so first of all, um, the body, mind, intellect is superimposed was my uh, only thought. I didn't go deep into the the organs impacting uh, the organs also superimposing the sense organs. Uh, uh, so this this video got that clarity. <clears throat> so when the uh, body mind intellect that is uh, superimposed on the self, it is uh, the the perfect example for that is the uh, snake in a rope or uh, when we perceive the blue uh, that the sky is blue that is what uh, is the uh, bmi uh, so uh, getting superimposed on the self <clears throat> but there are other things that i think i am isn't it like uh, i may think i am very smart i may think i am very fat or i am very thin uh, and uh, there are various uh, other things also i believe i am i may be i may be uh, uh, i may be a very fearful person i may be very brave or i may be very determined i think all these are also a superimposition uh, on the self however this this thing is not one way like like uh, you mentioned sir like the snake is superimposed on the rope the rope is not superimposed on the snake it is not two ways it is only one way whereas the things that i mentioned just now like i am fat i am thin i am whatever you associate uh, with fearful uh, brave i think this is two way uh, so initially it is the it is the sense organs that is imposing on the self and then you take on that identity of being fearful or being brave or being fat and now it is both ways it is not just one you you believe yourself to be that and then you act also accordingly is what i think so okay, elaborate on this uh, superimposition is two way what exactly hmm. you mean by that Okay, two way means uh, suppose like if we take the snake example itself, there is a rope lying on the road. So you think that it is a snake. Upon examination, when you go near it or when you touch it, you are able to know that, okay, it is not a snake. It was rope all along. It was my uh, misunderstanding or it was my ignorance. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Anandji. So right there, you have three, right? There is one subject and then two objects. One is the Are snake it? and the rope. Both are objects. And then there is one subject. Yeah, yeah. Okay, please continue. Yeah, from yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so here, uh, mm. it is, it, uh, it, the, uh, there is a snake. Initially, I see a snake, only a snake. I don't see a rope at that time. So, when I go near, I see that there was no snake. Now, there is only a rope. Okay. So, like you mentioned, there there were uh, two objects first. Now, I am eliminating one object. So, I am still there with one object left, okay, which I am seeing, perceiving. Now, if I if I say I am fat, okay, if I, if I think I am fat, okay, now it is not just one way. Why? Because if I am believing myself to be fat, then all my actions are like that. For example... Um, first I think I am fat so that is something which I am looking probably I am looking at myself in the mirror and what I see I perceive as fat okay or I have I have something else to compare with so I am arriving at a conclusion that I am fat now this is one one way it is going in now uh, through the sense organ to the mind now it has it has established within me that I am fat so now my all my actions will be depending on based on that identity that I am fat. Maybe I am not eating food properly now. Maybe I am exercising. Maybe I am finding solutions to uh, not be fat if I am thinking it in a negative way. If I think I should not be fat, then my actions will be oriented towards that. So now 
with an identity that I am a fat person, I am doing all that to either be that or not be that. So in all these things, there is a mm, there is a person that I am creating, right? It is not mm. the self. The self is only observing, but I am putting that label on the self that I am fat. So now I will function with that. So for example, if if I am uh, if I am fearful, uh, which I have experienced in my personal life. So if, when I am fearful, I am scared to go to certain places. So the the nature of the self, it, the true nature. Now I realize that. What is there to be uh, fearful of is now I, I have eliminated that. But initially, when you walk into a room, you wonder if there is light. You are scared to even put a light. Why? Because you you are you are in that, uh, uh, you think you are so fearful or why you are fearful? Something might attack me or I can't see in the dark. So I am I am fearful of the unknown there, right? Because the light is not there, I'm fearful of what is there. It is unknown to me. So uh, that that used to drive me, right? I I will not I will not go to very dark places. Or if I'm about to enter a street, if I see none of the street lights are uh, on, I may not venture into it. So everything I do, even my actions, will be based on that. So that is a superimposition which is not easily cleared like the snake and the rope. It is it it is not easily visible upon examination. It is something which is very deep rooted, and uh, probably which can get corrected only by going inward. By going inward, you cannot uh, examine it and discover on the external. You have to go uh, in inside uh, to even uh, solve that issue that that identity thing which you have. Yes, sir, Anandji. When you said it's two way. Do you say yeah. that the real is affected? No, not the real is affected. But it's a two way, right? Yeah, two way means. Uh, so there, the, okay, the rope how, how the rope. do I how do I better? Okay, so it? I think I think what Padma ji is communicating through that or conveying through that is when the superimposition happens, there is a uh, way in which you behave which is an effect of the superimposition. So the cause is superimposition, uh, which yes. is essentially due to avidya, there is a superimposition and the effect of that you see in terms of behavior. Yeah. Yes. That way she Ignorance sees... leads to multiple errors. Correct. So that is what yeah. she is uh, but, but is the, is the, so the question is, but how can you uh, say two way when uh, the two way... So I, don't think, I don't think she means the self is affected. She means it in terms of uh, error in recognition and effect due to error in recognition. She's describing the errors. That is yeah. there in, in See, when, no, no, when, also. No, when it you, is not there. That's why I said, say, no, no. When you take that's it as a why... snake, you, you start sweating, you uh, you have the fear. That's a two-way. right? You see it as snake and then it, it, affect, it affected the seer. No, no, but see, uh, see, when you see a snake, it is. I feel it's a momentary thing, right? Snake is until, not always there until you get the clarity. Until no, no, no. See, clarity. Okay, let let us uh, let us have this. I have two superimposition now. Okay, I I am going into a forest and I am a fearful person. Okay, first of all, if I am such a fearful person and I am acting based on that, I would not go into the forest. That is the first one. Okay. Whereas, if it is only one way, like only I am scared of snake, I can encounter the snake anywhere, even on a even on a road, or uh, you know, mostly SFV outside SFV, you can encounter snake. So, but but you know, you maybe you saw even that security guard, uh, you know, going near and tapping and uh, trying to see. So you will find out. But if if you are a believer, if you take the identity of becoming fearful then you would not do many things. You would not even venture in that uh, path is what, what I am saying. So, I am not saying the self is uh, self is not affected. Obviously, it is only the witness to all this. But the identity, the ego that you are creating by that is so strong that it will start having effect on how you perform, how you act. That is because that the, saying, uh, ignorance leads yeah. to... Uh, Actually, Correct. ignorance leads to everything uh, wrong. Everything yeah. Uh, yeah. 
fundamentally so wrong example, then all the yeah. things will be, are going to be wrong based on the yeah. fundamentals that have been built yes so mm -hmm. for example that jaundice example right it is not that he is just perceiving his body to be yellow isn't it that is something which i and you also can see in a jaundice person if say i have jaundice you can observe that i am yellow okay but and this person also can see it in the mirror but the effect of the jaundice is going beyond it is it is affecting the physicality from within also so that way also that is two ways is it not you cannot just say that i am just yellow uh, okay the two way is basically till that ignorance is cleared the mistaken identity is going to cause error is going to lead to multiple errors yeah also the jaundice is not something like an examination of a rope and a snake no so okay you... so i understand this uh, 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 padma ji ah. so, fundamentally error in recognition leads to uh, various kinds of uh, outcomes which are mm. erroneous okay mm. Mm. now you are looking at the rope and the snake uh, example in a very short window Ima you are imagining long, yeah. somebody uh, stepped on a rope and mistook it as a, a snake and immediately somebody came and clarified that error. That yeah, or correct. even you yourself can uh, find it out, right? Correct, correct. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. No, no, no. no. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Because yeah. you are assuming that you know somebody immediately clarified or you immediately got a clarification. It's what you're assuming. Yeah. The time frame is not necessarily immediate. See... Yeah, case, yeah, that is, uh, yeah, I get the point, sir. What I'm trying to see, see, how how else would you uh, differentiate between the two is what I'm thinking. So that, that's why I gave day, that example to you. Differentiate uh, between the which day, two? It's a ah. superimposition problem. Yes. That superimposition causes error. Now, the uh, until the clarity emerges regarding whether I stepped on the rope or the snake, it may take even years sometimes. Mm. Hmm. Uh, you know, especially in the case of psychosomatic diseases, some people uh, start showing various physical symptoms because of the pattern of thinking. And the pattern of thinking is so deep rooted. You heard that uh, our uh, that lady, you know, who is that lady, cancer lady, uh, Anita Murjani. Hmm. She said that, you know, she had lumps as big as those, uh, uh, you know, behind her neck. Uh, she showed in this way, right? And then within 10 days, they uh, evaporated. What it means? It essentially means that once when you are in some kind of an error, the manifestation of that could be as huge as that. And for many years, she, she suffered. But that went away just like that in, in that particular case because of the realization that occurred in her. Mm -hmm. So, what is the impact of the error is one thing. And how long does it take for the error to go away is another thing. Mm -hmm. However, error, when it is there, it leads to various kinds of outcomes which are erroneous in the first place. Yeah, that is okay. But then how will you describe this uh, kinds of... What I'm saying is correct. Even in Anita Murjani case, when you're saying psychosomatic, it is two ways, is it not? It is not one way, like the rope. See, error, avidya, is super... is always, it's a two-way street only, no? As long as there is avidya, any it's avidya, avidya, it's a two-way. No, then why do we say that snake is superimposed on the rope? We don't say rope is superimposed on the snake. Because the fear is of, no, not the of example, the rope, it no, is of the snake. You're using the example to make a wrong point. That is... you. Here, snake is unreality, rope is reality. Okay, so rope is, is equivalent of the reality. What is reality? Atman is the reality. What is snake? Snake was never there in the first place. The world, the world that we see is really not there in the sense that it is not a permanent reality. It is a fleeting reality. The body that we see is never there in the sense that it is a fleeting reality. It is like, where is Kaveri River? There is no Kaveri river. It is simply a flow of water. Good. We are superimposing Kaveri to a stream and we are saying that there is Kaveri river. Where is Kaveri river? There is no Kaveri river. 
it is simply a flow of water we are referring as kaveri simply flow that we experience in the awareness the, which is seen in the awareness which is seen as nothing but various kinds of thoughts emerging and disappearing is what is referred as the body and the mind and the world and due to identification what mm -hmm. is identification that is also a thought in the same so it's all nothing but a flow and mm -hmm. what is the material of the flow is nothing but that atman only but that is the fleeting reality of the atman that is the shakti of the atman the shiva or the consciousness is the one which is watching so it is to bring about the clarity that you and i are the one who are giving name and form to what is appearing so the name given is snake 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 the name given is my body my body the name given is i am afraid i am afraid i am so and so i am so and so i am so and so leading to i am not so and so i am idiot oh then i i cannot solve this so all this is manifestation because of the identification with the what is fleeting so to bring recognition to what is fleeting and what is not fleeting the rope and the snake example is used so that is where the the question that saranan ji asked oh those are those two are also objects is a separate topic altogether but keeping the analogy of rope and snake rope is indicative of the atman and snake was never there world is never there in the sense that you cannot say this is the world because what you call as the world is a fleeting reality it's constantly changing what is what is there what is there so appearance is constantly changing mm -hmm. it is not there appearance is not there so what is there the fundamental reality the isness the existence is the only reality world is is the only reality mysore is there is not the reality what is mysore today 20 years back if you go to mysore today is mysore that mysore is gone mysore is not there your 20 year photo and your today's photo when that padma is no more there this padma is no uh, as we are speaking this padma is also uh, floating uh, is is flowing so to indicate that aspect the rope and the snake is used because we assume that this is reality what is reality the the flowing is the reality whatever is flowing we consider it to be reality snake which is not there in the first place i assumed it why because of error in recognition so i i got afraid i palpitated i even could start uh, feeling as if you know i'm going into fits all of that can happen very well happens so same thing happens in that fear no the uh, dark room what is there in the dark room an imagination called a ghost is there in the dark room and until that imagination goes away how the imagination can go away only one way that you walk into the room and boldly look at the darkness and you realize that there is never a ghost so until you go to the snake and you look at it and you hold it and you realize ah snake was never there so unnecessarily i palpitated but you palpitated that's a different issue you had a fit that's a different issue is this bringing uh, clarity no um all this what you said i understand but uh, then then what is the relevance of this question how would you explain what are the kinds of super emotion action i was thinking i wanted to share something let's see uh, if that aligns with uh, yeah because from the from the video that is how i understood that certain um uh, certain things is not so uh, i mean the entire lifetime uh, you you can end up leaving this body without correcting it is what i which is correct no 
uh, if ah, I but then yeah uh, yeah but then it is uh, not similar to what even uh, uh, I mean then why the example of that itself why why did Guruji talk about both the examples in the same video I I don't can go for Just to explain the kinds of superimposition only is what I we, what we I thought so okay so superimposition it occurs in multiple ways right. So rope and snake is one kind of superimposition. But Vijayji, there are also a lamp post also. Uh, what is that? In in the rope, rope and snake example also, let's say the subject uh, takes that rope for snake. Yeah. And let's say it doesn't even try to understand it. Yeah. And completely avoids passing that street because and then the, the, the continues. ignorance continues. Exactly. So, so it continues. The whole life continues uh, with the mistake of with the mistake and identity of that there is a snake, and they keep reporting that there's a snake. There's a snake. Don't walk in that. Road. I, I I am this, and I keep living the wrong uh, mistaken life. I I am this, that I that small I that ego. I am this. Continue on because I didn't even like for whatever reasons I didn't take that step to understand who I am. So. All the things, actions will be mistaken there. Correct. It can go for forever also. Correct. So there is no there is no dispute to that. Uh, so, okay. Uh, Padmaji, can you frame your question? What is the, where is the uh, confusion occurring? No, then, then I started today's talk itself with, uh, I mean, explanation itself wrongly. I said I have clarity then. I don't. If if what you are, uh, if I if I agree with what you are saying, then there is no clarity. Then I uh, because I don't understand. Then why that question itself? What are the kinds of superimposition due to avidya? You did not say what are the examples. If if you just said what are the examples, then then all this will make sense. Snake in a row, person with jaundice, blue blue in the sky. And, um, uh, you know, I am a man, I am a woman, anything, I, I am I am intelligent, anything will fit there. If you say what are the, uh, just what are the uh, super, various superimpositions. But when you say kinds, kinds, kinds is synonym for me for types, <laughs> types of superimposition. Right, right, right. Okay, Actually, okay. I, yeah. yes, so I, if it yes, is type, when I, I heard that. Ah, so when you say yes. type, then I don't see it as one. I see it as more than one. Correct. Uh, that is why I said I didn't understand that question part. And uh, when I when I when I saw this question and I saw Guruji's video, that no. is how I took it because the the way he explains it is like that, right? There is. There Padma is ji, no he option. has Vijayji has to give some spice, right? Add some spice. Otherwise, it will become very easy. <laughs> No, that that's okay. I am fine with that because I, so, I don't so we, see. See, okay. after after he has started putting the questions, I we, never go to the video first. <laughs> it is always uh, read his question and then only approach the video. So for me, it is two way. Like two gurus are there. One who is giving the talk and one who is prompting the question. So for me, that together makes sense. Many mm. things. So I, I was kind of lost today. <laughs> uh, so so maybe yeah maybe it's a it's a error in the question. So uh, definitely that. So uh, but then sir, yeah. how how do how do I make sense of how I understood it now? Like I said that, uh, okay. Uh, so so if I have to again uh, frame it in a simple way. Yeah. For example, um, uh, okay. Uh, if I have two superimpositions on myself, say I am fat and I am a woman. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To uh, 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 maybe after uh, uh, today, I, I I think of myself as fat when I look in the mirror. Say mm -hmm. I take some actions towards it, and uh, say three months later or six months later, I look at the same mirror, and now I conclude that I am not fat anymore. Right. So that that is one way of curing that superimposition. Okay. I I have changed it rather or i have examined it i have corrected it mm -hmm. now i am a woman is very deep right i am it is something which i am going to be seeing till the day i leave this uh leave this body so the, that is not so easy to correct so that is why i was saying that, that means you're taking you're taking yourself as a body right you're treating no, no, as one second body, right? yeah that's what 
So that is why I said that that is two way because not only am I perceiving through my sense organs and uh, everything as I am a woman because I look in a certain way and my conditioning that this is how a woman looks body wise. I think I am a woman from childhood. It has been ingrained in me that you are a girl, you are a woman like that. And now I function according to that, right? I, I, I don't know any other way to function is the better way to put it. That's a role you have taken now. You you are not woman. That's the role you have taken now. And like we, uh, you are playing that role. I am playing this role. Yeah, but this is not. I feel easy to correct as the yeah, uh, okay. as even That's... my fear. Okay, even as my fear because I I know that there are various qualities attributes. So that I took upon myself. Whereas woman is not just an attribute, right? It is not just an attribute. So. Uh, Okay, let us look at an example, uh, Padma ji. Yeah. So, when you are, uh, let's say, uh, your child comes crying, you are hugging. Are you having the feeling, I am a woman hugging a, uh, a child? You know, the child may be a boy child or a girl child. Or is the feeling that, okay, I am just hugging. And uh, uh, what I am feeling is a sense of, you know, I am there for you. I am I'm protecting you. I am I'm, 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 uh, uh, with you. Mm. A sense of, uh, uh, okay, I am sharing something which is not necessarily a body feeling. Though mm. the bodies seem to be from outside perspective, the bodies are the ones which are uh, together. But what is in you? What is that you are feeling deep within you? A sense of uh, okay, comfort. A sense of I, I want. I'm, I'm there to comfort you. I'm, 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 I'm holding you. Correct. It's a gesture. The, the hugging is a gesture. That's mm. all, right? So at that moment, there is no woman. There is no man. There is no uh, body part. None of that. It is something far beyond that is there in that moment when, mm. when you are hugging. You know? So. It is incorrect to say that, you know, the identity is uh, uh, impossible to overcome. It is impossible to overcome in the external world when you are acting with that sense of identity. Mm -hmm. So in the case of Mata Amritananda Mayi, she used to hug, go around and hug everybody. But her uh, br brother and uh, parents uh, took an objection to that. In fact, I've told you the story of where our brother even went to kill her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they only saw the body. They think that a woman body should not touch a man body. Because they are thinking only at the body level. But you know, when Amma is hugging, she is not hugging as a body. She is simply an outflow of the love that is deep within. Oneness. Uh, when uh, you know Sadhguru hugs anybody, it is not that you know a man or a woman Sadhguru is hugging a man or a woman uh, disciple. Mm -hmm. That Correct. is an external view, a very limited view. Correct. That, that hugging itself heals because it is like a mother hugging a child. The child Correct. is comforted because the mother is hugging without expecting anything. Oh, I am protected. I am oh, I am I'm safe now. Mm. From where that safety feeling comes, if a body mm. is hugging another body, it uh, there is a fantastic story in the Bhagavatam, no? Um, which Muni was walking naked? There was one Muni who was walking uh, naked, no? Sukamuni only. Sukamuni only. Muni. So mm. there were uh, uh, all these ladies who were taking bath and Sukamuni was walking stark naked and they continued yeah. to uh, bathe. <laughs> and uh, his father, he came running uh, to, to uh, uh, you know, catch him. And yeah. they suddenly started wearing dress. He, yeah. he was astonished. Why? Why? Because he has no uh, identification with the body, but you still have. Yeah. So, Sveda Vasa Maharishi only. Sveda Vasa Maharishi. Yeah. So, that's why it was uh, more bewildering for him. <laughs> Correct. So, because Brahma Jnana is there, but that sense of identification, uh, you know, it's uh, remnants are still there. Right. So, uh, so therefore, in you, me, every one of us, there are moments when there is no body identification. Deep sleep is a no body identification. That's why deep sleep is so 
blissful but because mm. the ignorance has not gone as soon as the waking up so called waking up happens the same ignorance drives the behavior mm. yeah so uh, fundamentally what all of these examples are indicating is that the identification until the identification is there it leads to erroneous behavior when i sleep i am sleeping who body is sleeping i had a good sleep so until the identification is there so it is it doesn't mean that the sleep will go away for a, a brahmagnani brahmagnani also uh, you know you from you and i perspective he is also sleeping but a brahmagnani is no more identified with uh, the body uh, having to rest through a mechanism called a sleep because the awareness or the atman never sleeps that's why you are able to recognize deep sleep otherwise no. who is aware of the deep sleep the waker cannot be aware of the deep sleep that we have already examined correct the dreamer mm. cannot be aware of the deep sleep because no. the waker dreamer uh, deep sleeper all are different so the only one who is there all through and awake and aware can only recognize who is that that is the only fundamental reality that is who mm. you are so until the ignorance is there it continues to identify and uh, removal of the ignorance through vichara and sometimes the vichara for it to fully become like in the case of uh, again, again you know taking that particular story as an example in the shukamani that vichara and the manifestation are complete it is purna there is mm. no more identification no more identification it's a child is as if like a child walking so mm. there uh, you and i also have seen you no know, when a child walks stark naked none of us have any negative feelings we we simply uh, are gleeful joyful but uh, uh, you know somebody who for the sake of uh, uh, excitement you know shows even a little bit of leg or hand no people get uh, excited why mm. because it's all in the attitude with which you know that particular expression is happening so like that uh, the child like is established there gnana is there in veda vyasa marshi in that story but some some more remnants are there i am uh, this body and you are that body is this bringing clarity now yeah yes sir i'll see the video once more if i have any more question bring it up yeah yeah so the that, the conditioning change no now of the <laughs> but awesome awesome bad mari <laughs> no but i i really deeply i was thinking about it like uh, like uh, uh, i don't know this is the first video i have heard him talk of um i i am not i among all that i have seen of his work uh, his talks this is the first one where he talks of this uh, you know this jaundice and all that so i thought there is and and based on that question also i thought yes uh, I, i didn't know how to put it two way when you asked also sarvanandi i i don't know how i didn't know how to give the clarity but uh-huh. for me i i sensed the difference in how um you are perceiving the rope example and and a p- perception of like say i am fat or i am i am dumb or i am very intelligent that that kind of thing can take a different uh, but you have a valid point we'll i see. am body i am body is a is a deep uh, uh, belief system right the fundamental belief system that leads to all marketing industry cosmetics industry uh, dressing industry <laughs> come on if not like look at the order in which uh, it is negated i am not the body that is the first thing that is to be negated therefore because that is a uh, you know very deep rooted cross ah uh. uh, very cross very visible even impossible I, how can i say i am not the body yeah. then i am not the mind you know a lot more subtle and that is where you know all these other belief systems are held i am dumb body you cannot say i am dumb body doesn't show any signs of dumbness correct ah uh. because you know 
if somebody says i'm dumb and she's like this you know you can say oh a dumb person but that is just a you know the same same body can also sit like this dumb person can also sit like this yeah i know everything no you can sit like this <laughs> yeah okay yeah. sir i'll look into the video again i'll come back on this <laughs> So, is there anything uh, left? Um, no, no, there, there, there is. No, no, it's not left. But I just want to again revisit and uh, see. Some sometimes it can be that you have a particular question in mind, so you search only for that answer which is fitting there, right? So uh, maybe now when I see it, I'll see it from a different perspective. Hey, just to just to take some uh, fun from that sentence. Uh, is anything left? <laughs> nothing is left <laughs> i am complete <laughs> yeah if everything is left then job <laughs> yeah sarunji yeah, you are you you please share yeah yeah he was share so, yes. yeah so I, uh, the superimposition has been like uh, well explained deeply explained i was trying to get creative to give you answer of types of superimposition <laughs> okay so i said uh, okay how about this uh, uh, <clears throat> the types is like i am this doer i am this uh, enjoyer okay <clears throat> and uh, oh, i am this knower right which is what the different uh, first the body the body Uh, superimposition or the, I I I will not st stop there. The identification of me as separate being right there. The superimposition starts, the error starts, and then like that leads to all these different uh, and this me the individual starts then displaying that error out of uh, in in these three ways. So, like, everything can be put under these three types. either i am doing or uh, uh, i am enjoying i feel like i am enjoying i feel like i am knowing none of these uh, are uh, uh, are the uh, the actually happening to to the the unreal one finally it's all the real one uh, who who is going, who is uh, who's um, uh, should i say um, who's behind all these three all the types at the end of the day and that that's the only thing i wanted to add um right yeah. when you uh, sir, like, yeah that's that's one way of tartaram uh, mukta we take the question of kinds to be a valid question <laughs> <laughs> i'm making the i'm giving a reality to the question <laughs> right so at the end it's that's how the superimposition leads to different yeah but then the so the reason why i asked you two way is um uh here the the, the superimposition is on this uh, unreal me right and the two way is always for that unreal me never for that real me okay so the real me is behind the unreal me says like uh i am so and so like uh, so that that affecting again the unreal me the unreal me is building uh, its own character uh, on a loop okay until uh, until that's that's because it's always outward uh, using the sense organs to build the character until it it starts looking inward right so the, the inward is where the secret is the outward is like you you are just like um, uh, you you are using the wrong um, uh, means to to know yourself and and that leads to uh, uh building this uh, uh, strong character of like completely wrong uh, individual and yeah and that's why that leads to all wrong type of actions yeah that's that's what i wanted to add uh yes yeah, so, but i had the good good with me ji yeah so i had uh one more doubt now that i was hearing you uh did 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 guruji mention it because uh, uh rope is uh, uh rope rope 
if i take only ro rope as an object okay forget about uh, subject object in that sense but uh, did he mention about this uh, if you see the rope lamp post all these are external objects whereas when he talks about um uh, the the jaundice and uh, all these kind of things where woman man where mm -hmm. i i become the object right there is the object uh, I am the object there. Of course, upon examining, we again go like that only. In that so, part yeah. we go. So here also we say, right? I and my body. So I am not the body. I and my body. So no, no that's what I'm saying. Like, um, you... I'm trying to figure out like, oh. No, Padmaji, I. Okay. The one way and the, and the like. See, like in, any, that... in, any, in any superimposition, is... no? Ah. Any superimposition, whether it is a ghost in the lamp post snake in the rope are looking at the world with the uh, eyes of the jaundice in any of that what is fundamentally happening i have become that mm -hmm. so here there is a ghost no, no, no. Go, go, go there is a go that. i i didn't get that i so the i Whatever I think I am, I have become mm. that. Okay. In any of these examples. So let's look at it. Ghost in lamppost. Ghost. So there is an image appearing there in the picture. And that has gone inside. And there, there is a concept called ghost. And that gets mm. triggered. And now I have become fearful. If that is my let's say, response to ghost. Hmm. Okay. So I have become fearful, which is what you're seeing, fear. Why? Because there's hmm. a ghost in the lamppost. Correct? Huh? Hmm. Similarly, in the case of snake and the rope, I uh, am now going to die. Hmm. So, so I am uh, uh, going to embrace death. So I am something perishing. I am perishable. I have become perishable object in, in that case. You know, extreme case of uh, snake, right? Yeah. yeah. So like that, in any of these examples, so due to the error in recognition, I have become that. Whatever I, uh, you know, end outcome, I say fearful, perishable. Then uh, in the case of jaundice, is an example of why am I seeing a ghost? Because there is jaundice called ghost in my mind. What, what, what does it mean? I have captured some concepts and I have assumed them to be true. That is the jaundice actually. And therefore, when I look at that picture, I see, oh, ghost. So there is no ghost. But my jaundice in my mind called a uh, wrong concept. Okay, what is a ghost? I've never asked that question. How can ghosts come? I've never asked that question. So therefore, I have a jaundice called ghost jaundice. So here jaundice need not have to be taken literally. So the coloring of the mind is what is being referred as jaundice. So now when I'm when I've colored my mind as I am a man, I look at the world as man, woman, others. When I've colored my mind with the jaundice called I am a uh, say for example a particular uh, jati, then you know I look at the world as I am this jati and you are that jati. So the jaundice called jati has left a color in me. It's a varna. See jaundice is to show the uh, how we color our uh, uh, thinking right yeah of course a disease called jaundice is a physical uh, disease and the body appears yellow and for the person who has jaundice the world may appear yellow but if the person has the knowledge that it is due to the excessive bile juice and so on and so forth and all that Right now, it is not yellow, but it is appearing yellow. Then the person is still okay. He will not label everything as yellow. Hmm. Yeah. 
So these superimposition examples are to bring the clarity that appearance does not affect uh, Brahman. I see a lamp, a ghost, but uh, nothing has happened. There is really, you know, purely the light or that lamp post. But I went through fear. Similarly, the snake. And thus, similarly, the world. World is an appearance in Brahman. Nothing is happening to Brahman. Nothing is happening to you. Body and mind are appearing and disappearing in you. All right. Any other points that we need to discuss on this particular question? Ashwini ji, Deepa ji, Shubha ji, has this whole conversation helped? Yes, sir. I, even I was thinking that uh, uh, Prabhu ji gave examples, but he never uh, talked about kind. So I was thinking, what is this kind? <laughs> so, so maybe now Vijay ji is going to have that kind of question in every question now. <laughs> <laughs> to, to wake everyone up. <laughs> so, a, a wrong question can lead to a, a good discussion, I discovered. So, I will have to <laughs> intentionally leave wrong questions. No, it, it's this happens, right? Uh, uh, to identify that a question is wrong, you, you need to have, you have to be so clear in, the, in your understanding of the concept. Otherwise, you think, oh, Maybe I am not right. Then there is something uh, else. Yes. So... <laughs> also, Vijayji, what we have to probably do is uh, watch Guru Guruji's video uh, first and then uh, look at the questions and then uh, put it there. Instead of going with the perception, watching, instead of seeing the questions first and then going to it. No, no, no. That, no, that, that helps. Thing that first. helps. Yeah. See, I was doing that only first. Okay. Then uh, I will watch the entire video. That's how I am. I will watch the entire video. I would have made uh, notes of some 60, 70 pages of what he said. And then when I come to the class and when I see his questions, I still yeah. can't answer it. Like there will be too much information. So that no, is the, No, no, uh, you're going bit by bit. Uh, yeah, Maybe we should fashion. just go take 10 minutes of the video. Uh, go through yeah, that yeah. and then uh, yeah. just I yeah, do that. That, I just... that was, you know, when especially when we started with Tattva Bodha, we didn't know that there is a 10 minute video at all of Guruji. <laughs> we did one hour, one hour, half and a one and a half hours video only till we arrived, I think, almost till the end. Then only, you know, when I started seeing Saravanandji's notes is when I said, why is he putting T, T all the time instead of day, D. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay, there is a 10 minute video also of Guruji. So, like that, I think we tend to discover many things. Now, this one also, I don't know if there are 10 minute videos. I took what Vijayji only has shared, the day one only, but just a little bit, uh, we just watch only how much <laughs> is required for two or three questions. I listen to that and then just uh, note down that. All right. So, uh, if there are uh, talks for this, uh, can you share it? Uh, if there are uh, 10 minute videos of, uh, I don't think so. I, uh, no, no, there is no 10 minute uh, video of this. Ashwin. This is actually only a seven day, a seven, yeah, talks. only seven total talks are only seven. Yes, hmm. okay. now oh. I, I, after the Tatsuboda experience, I go and see before itself if there is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, that requires work also for someone to uh, yeah, yeah. know where video. to break it's videos video. so that uh, yeah, yes, it requires yes. effort. Yeah. Also, no, uh, some of the videos, uh, see, 10 minute video is helpful, but sometimes I feel that that is not giving the complete information, also. Yeah. Only yeah. when you watch the That's one hour, right, uh, he might come again to that point and uh, clarify. So, that that will be disconnected also. Padmaji, you know? it's like mm -hmm. our uh, serials, right? <laughs> it, it, it'll go on. You have to wait for okay, what next? <laughs> if it's complete, then like you are done. 
no also <laughs> also it is due to the nature of how the mind learns see huh. we get exposed to an idea hmm. and it has to percolate right how does hmm. it percolate it uh, see as soon as you hear something for example you hear a totally new word uh, kamachi and then you know so suddenly it may bring some, some impression kamachi <laughs> it it may be okay padma ji what it is bringing to your uh, feeling when you hear kamachi i think sir i think you are funny that's what i thought <laughs> No, he is putting it inside you. <laughs> I, I added a color to you. <laughs> okay. But for Tumarji, what does Kamachi bring? Same as what Padmaji said. No. Okay. <laughs> now, now Padmaji is super imposed on everybody. Yes. Yeah, sure. yes. <laughs> uh, Rupa ji, you please say something else. What is Kamachi bringing to your mind? actually kamachi uh, in our language is uh, used for servant to i mean <laughs> wow in okay. konkani kamachi means servant sir oh kamachi is it ha kamachi oh okay okay i said kamachi kamachi so i no changing sir no changing i no, i thought it's something related to like that kimchi is there, you know that food item maybe something ah, she she went to korea okay i i took it as a japanese word ha huh. ah. and what did you assume it to be i was just you asked too quickly i was trying to figure out a japanese <laughs> word what he which one he is trying to bring up <laughs> so but you know the point is so like that you know as soon as we hear something no because of our uh, past impressions see now Uh, for Ashwini ji, there is a food item. For uh, Deepa ji, Rupa ji, uh, servant. Uh, for uh, uh, Padma ji and Shubha ji, uh, a funny person. And uh, uh, Google search for uh, Saranan ji. So <laughs> no Japanese word. A Japanese word and uh, Google search was happening. What does the Japanese word mean? I was trying to think which one he may be saying. Uh. <laughs> so, They have all these words, right? Yoko, Yuki. Uh, I, and I believe a lot of uh, Japanese restaurants are opening up in Bangalore with all the. But now, of... now if let's say I give a meaning to that, okay. So uh, I say uh, kamachi means it's a new type of pickle, okay. <laughs> Or if I say kamachi means it's a new type of a blade, then you know you then you will oh okay, but then you will start asking me okay what kind of a blade, what kind of a pickle, so that it becomes deeper. Then you know we associate with that word deeply. Then the moment I say kamachi, suddenly that image ima image comes to your mind. So same thing is happening in the case of uh, uh, you know when we are hearing. So when we hear first time, there is a certain understanding, there is a certain opening up. But uh, for it to become clear, that's why we go through all these gyrations, no? So it is not necessary that you know one way of gyration. Okay, I watch everything at once and becomes clear may not be correct. i have set of questions and then what becomes clear i come and discuss becomes clear it is a each one is a complementary process each one is a complementary step and sometimes uh, i don't have to do anything just by listening itself it becomes clear so uh, therefore uh, doesn't really matter what matters at the end of the day is uh, has it left me with uh, clarity if it is so whatever that process is uh, uh, it must be okay so process is yours clarity is also yours only <laughs> because nobody it, else can put a stamp on the clarity it's you who interpret the question and it's you who makes up the answer <laughs> all right anything else on this uh, particular thing if not uh, um it's 755 uh, we may not have enough time for the next three questions uh, shall we end our contemplation here and with this uh, uh, do any one of you see any further questions we can prompt in day 4 those of you ashwini ji or uh, any others who have gone through day 4 talk is there is there any other question that you want to add if not uh, then you know in the next session i think it's covered sir Yeah. Covered? Okay. 
we had some uh, uh, okay, general uh, questions. Yeah. General questions that uh, Shil uh, Shilpa ji had asked, self-realization, self-actualization, she isn't there. So maybe she'll, uh, till she comes, we will keep it in abeyance. Um, and is cause and effect and so, no, which one is the question that Padma ji asked? Dvaita, Advaita, Vishishta Advaita. Ah, this one, right? Yeah. So we need to take up these two questions, self-realization and self-actualization and Advaita, Advaita and Vishishta Advaita. Vishishta. Yeah. So in our next session, uh, when we complete these three questions, shall we take up these uh, ad hoc questions? Okay. All right. Hari Om.